Hello everyone, welcome to AFS Hackers. I'm Afshan. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the starting point machine of Hack the Box that is Pennyworth. And I have already started my machine. Here is my IP address. Your IP address will be different. So let's start with the first task. The first task is what does the acronym uh, CVE stand for? So let's search it on Google. So it is a common vulnerabilities and exposures. Uh, is a list of publicly disclosed computer security flaws. So let's copy it. And paste it here. Let's submit the answer. Yes, it is correct. So task 2 is what do the three letters in CIA referring to the CIA tried in cyber security stand for? So that is confidentiality integrity and availability yes oops submit the answer yes it is correct so what is the version of the service running on port 8080 so let's copy the IP address let's ping the machine first uh, yes it is up and running and let's scan the machine let's wait uh, so our nmap scan is completed and as you guys can see on port 8080 http service is running and the version is jetty 9.4.39 so let's copy it and paste it here yes it is correct so task 4 is uh, what version of Jenkins is running on the target so let's copy the IP address and paste it here and on port 88 is running so actually Jenkins is a free and open source automation server and it helps automate the part of uh, software development and it is a server based system actually so let's try some basic and common username and password that is admin admin uh, no root root invalid user name or password let's try root and password uh, yes this is the Jenkins uh, dashboard and here is this here is the Jenkins version let's copy it and paste it here that is 2.289.1 is the version of Jenkins yes and what type of script is accepted as input on the Jenkins uh, Jenkins scripts console so let's see the hint let's get groovy so let's try script here and the groovy script and execute it on the server so we are going to use the groovy script let's submit the answer okay so what would the string cmd variable from the groovy script snippet be equal to if the target vm was running windows so so we'll use the groovy script to receive a reverse shell connection from the target uh, since it is only execute the groovy commands we will need to create a payload in groovy to execute the connection so let's see in an official write-up they have already given the payload and uh, you guys can also copy it from the github this is the string host and it will it is specify the IP address for the target to connect back to 
and the port 8000 is specify the port on which the attacker will listen on and the CMD uh, bin bash to specify the shell type the attacker expects so we have got our answer here if the target was using windows it would have been cmd.exe so let's copy it and paste it here submit the answer yes it is correct and the task 7 is what is the different command then IPA we could use to display our network interfaces information on Linux that is if config on Linux it is if config and on Windows it is IP config let's submit the answer yes task 8 is so what switch should we use with netcat for it to use UDP transport mode so let's use the help menu we'll use the following command as you guys can see switch u that is used for UDP mode so we'll, we'll use this particular switch let's submit the answer okay okay so Uh, so let's run the payload yes we have connected let's write who am I root let's list the file okay let's go to the root folder uh, so we have got the flag let's get the flag flag dot yes let's copy it uh, what is the term used to describe making a target host initiate a connection back to the attacker host so that is reverse shell let's submit the answer okay it is correct and we have already got the flag so let's paste the flag here submit the answer okay so yes we have successfully pawned the pennyworth machine of hack the box so i hope you like this video if you did then share this video with your friends and colleagues and yes don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel we'll see you guys in my next video till then take care and keep hacking